Mine gate. Oh wait. I was about to say I've come to the gate and nobody's here. But three people have just went to the guy at the front. Are they about to queue? The queue. Right. I think I'll go join the queue. So I'm at the front. Because the, the gate actually shuts in like 20 minutes, even though nobody's here. Okay, wish me luck. Oh, oh my goodness, finally here. I feel like I've been like traveling all day because I left the house at like 12 today. And it's now, it's like back at eight or something. No, it's actually Italy time, it's like back at nine, but UK time is back of eight. Oh my God. Flight was okay, flight was all right. Um, I actually went really, really quick. We left 10 minutes late, landed 10 minutes early, so like bonus. I just watched like Criminal Minds all the time, listened to a podcast. Um, I was totally chilled. There was actually a baby sat next to me and I feel bad because I put something on my story like, oh my God, this baby better not cry. And then the baby was actually really, really cute and won me over. And then when it did cry, I was like, oh, what's she? POA, plan of action. So I seen, I'm, because it's like late, I'm not going to go out or that, but I I seen a wee takeaway down the street when I was coming up from my taxi. Taxi man was lovely too. He was so, so nice. So I might go get just something to eat from the takeaway. And then tomorrow, going to go Pompeii, Mount, Vesu Mount Vesuvius, all that kind of jazz. So I need to be up pretty and early. Walking to find a pizza place just now. I actually just passed one that I probably should have went to because it looks really nice. So I might turn around in a minute and go back and get it. Yeah, I'm going to come to this one. <laughs> Actually, whoa, I've only just come up the stairs from the shops. Right, so I've had breakfast. What? I'm sorry. This will get better in a minute, I promise. I've had breakfast. Um, I forgot toothpaste, so I just had to go to the shops and get toothpaste. Um, this is me back, so I, I didn't do a room tour last night because I was too sleepy. I'll do a room tour now. This is obviously the bathroom. I mean, there's my wee get up. This is the after shave I had to bring with me because it was the only one I had less than 100 mils. It's like, I don't even know what it is. Got it for Christmas like two years ago. Shower, you know, the wee thing you wash your bum with. This is the room, there's my bed, there's the toothpaste. Um, yeah, this is the, you know, the, whatever you call this. And I think I put heat on last night instead of putting the fan on. And I genuinely wanted to cry. Um, TV's up there, although I didn't use it. My laptop is in my bag, which is in here. You know, we wardrobe things. Oh my God, I'll show you the view. The view is very cute. But very cute. It's literally just like a courtyard. And um, this is all the little hotel rooms. This is where we come in and out. There's like a gate there with a passcode. And there's a wee bit of seats there. So like, yeah, it's cute. So now I'm basically just away to go and brush my teeth. And then I think I can get, they have a metro here, which I think is basically like an underground. Um, it's like, it says get the bus and then get the metro to go to Pompeii, but I think I might walk. Because Emma Chamberlain, on her vlogs, when she goes travelling, she says, like, she likes just walking, just walking about places. Because then it makes it feel like you're like a local, people like, if you walk, like, you know where you're going, people like don't think you're a tourist and shit like that. So I'm like, I want to try that. I want to try this shit out, so we'll see how that goes. busy road I feel like such a silly tourist right now like and I'm a little bit annoyed at myself so I just went I got off the like the train the bus that was the most confusing thing ever by the way um I'm usually really good at undergrounds but the one here makes no sense whatsoever like there's just no way I don't know it just I was it wasn't working anyway made it to Pompeii train station got off 
you know, so it could be tourist stuff. So they're like telling you to come in because obviously it's tourist stuff. They want you to get the best experience. It's like legit. Um, so I was like looking at the maps and stuff, speaking, and there was a bus up to Pompeii, take it down, and there's a bus up to Mount Vesuvius as well, but that was full, so I was like, okay, so then the girl was like, do you want an audio guide? And I was like, oh, no, no, I'll be fine. Absolute tip, by the way, I should have just got the audio guide. Why would you not get the audio guide? Like, I don't have a map. Tell me what everything is. I'm hoping when I go up there, there's stuff there like, I can just grab. I feel like I'm actually annoyed with myself, but I was again like, flustered. You know, when you're just like, mm, no, it's fine, like, just stop offering me things. Like, I'm just gonna go. So, but maybe I could just find like a wee YouTube video about Pompeii and just listen to that while I like, go around. Oh, so annoying. Update I just bought a ticket online for an audio tour. Um, but I could just do it myself. And I think I actually worked out cheaper as well, so I may go to that. Finding the entrance for this thing is really hard. I thought I was finding the entrance, like even on the app. Like I said, I was going the right way, then I got there and I was like, nope. Oh, look at this. That's sweet. Um, so I'm on my way to find the entrance now. Oh my goodness. So let me tell you about Pompeii. This was a very nice day, okay? It was it was a good day. I liked seeing the sights, but it was a very, very stressful day. So basically, after I got them tickets, the app like, kept telling me, like, go to the meeting point, and the meeting point for the audio guide. And I was like, okay, cool, meeting point. The meeting point, it kept taking me to. I was like, at the gates for Pompeii, like, to get in. But the meeting point was, like, a market. And all these people were like, come buy my stuff, buy my stuff. And I was like, no. So I was, like, walking around in circles, walking around in circles. And then, like, I was, like, looked like I was following all these, like, big groups of guiders tours. And I was like, they're going to think I'm actually trying to steal their stuff. I was like, no, I actually can't. Like, they're going to think that... Okay, sorry, look at this. This is a wee boy feeding pigeons. It was so cute. Anyway, so it took me ages and ages and ages. So I thought, no, what? I'm just going to go up to the gate. So I went up to the gate and people were like, okay, scan your voucher. Here's your tickets. And I was like, right, so what do I do now? And she was like, you've got to go straight along the road and then right. And then it takes you to where you've got to go. So I did that. And then basically I had to go, it wasn't straight. It was like right along, up a hill, round the corner. Then I got my wee guide tour. Oh my god, it was the most stressful thing ever. The minute I was in Pompeii, my phone died. It died. Literal. So I was lost from the world. I'm lost in Pompeii. I can't find my way out. I literally have no idea where I am. I've walked in circles like three times and my phone's about to die. <laughs> So I was just in the castle um, I forgot how much I loved castles because like I was such like, a castle child when I was little like I, I just I was obsessed like we always used to go visit them and like I feel like I fell in love with castles again when I was there it was so cute like I went and got the guided tour so it was like a woman she took a group of us around um, so it was like me there was this family from like Switzerland that spoke English and it was like a couple American families um, and then somebody from Romania but it was like an English tour they all spoke English um, so it was, it was so nice, like the woman, she was great. It was so like interesting, like I just I just love castles. It was just like, they're just so cool. And like there was things in this castle, like like underground, like when when they were like excavating it or whatever, when they were like digging down, they found things that were like from 1 BC. So that's literally like before Christ. So that is legit over 2000 years old. And there was like skeletons and shit. And I'm like that, how like, it, Honestly, it just blows my mind. Like, how are these things like still here? Um, I had to go to the museum, but apparently, her eyes shut, so I'm not going there anymore. And who's having to be wandered about? But look where I am. 
Okay, it's not very good. This there's like a proper like cool fountain in the middle of this square, and then around here there's just really cool building. So I'm gonna go look at that as well, and then I'll get a McDonald's, and then it's time for flight. So the museum was open. It was the guided tours that were off. So oh my god, that was amazing. Um, it, Palace is always like mad me out. See when they're like kept like the way they were back in the day, and they store them and they store all the furniture and everything. Like it just. Like, I'll put in a few wee clips after this, but I'm like, people actually lived like this. Like, it's not just, they didn't just live like that on Downton Abbey and Bridget, and like, they actually lived like that. Like, that was their lives. They just had all these big rooms that they just sat in and did nothing and did do stuff. They read and they wrote poetry and they painted and they, they sewed and all that kind of shit. But I'm like that. Oh my God, like, this was actually people's lives. Like, gold plated rooms. Like, these tapestries from like, French was like, art. Oh, blows my mind, blows my mind. Thank you.